Hi everyone and all you maniacs and welcome back to episode number 6 of ML Plays FIFA 15. Today it's a big one, it's Hartlepool versus Manchester City in this season 4 so matchup that we've got today. We are playing Elite at home Chelsea against them as well, so they're going to be joining us at the Tal Park. I think the whole game will be sold out because I think a lot of the Hartlepool fans, whether they're mutual or fans of Hartlepool, will come down to see these superstars in action today. Let's hope that we can get a win. The last time we played against Villa, we had a 1-0 win and we finished 12th in the league so far. So today we can improve on that if we get a win against the Manchester City rivals. We're playing in the blue and white stripes. Manchester City are playing in the dark blue kit. We're going to play on professional difficulty for EA four Sports minutes and a half. Of the Off we go to the town park. It's Hartlepool United against Manchester City. So without further ado... Who'd have ever thought Hartlepool. Manchester City would line up Tyler against Hartlepool United? You can Martin see Tyler every Alan single Smith. chair in today, this so. ground is sold today for this big These one. The champions, Manchester so City, to, at the moment, to to um, are here. Home, and everyone has come to see them. They're out in force. Look at it. The, the stadium is packed. I think it's the best ticket receipts they've had ever at Hartlepool here. Anyway, as you can see, there's a Manchester City lineup. I'm not too certain of all of the Manchester City players, but uh, I'll commentate on them as and when I can. Here's the lineup for Hartlepool. Got Halstead in goal with Richards, Jones, Bates, and Kim at the back. Emma Walker, Woods, and Compton in the middle, and Lee and Alessandra up front to see if they can beat the likes of Joe Hart if he's in goal for Manchester City. Hands and to making to friends. It's not. Oh, it's not Joe Hart in goal. They're uh, resting Joe Hart. It's Lawler who's in goal. Mika Richards playing. Clichy, Milner, Fernandino. There's quite a few people. That I think they're resting sort of the main stars. To be honest with you, they may have taken this game against Hartlepool with a little bit of um, they're, they're a misjudging I think what Hartlepool can do they don't seem to have fielded a very strong side against Hartlepool now I've said that we're going to probably get smashed 5-0 but we'll have to see what happens anyway Neil Swarbrick is the um, referee for today's game Hartlepool have won the toss they're going to be playing from left to right in this first half the referee's looking all around and there he goes he's blown his whistle and away we go Hartlepool kick off and it's Lee trying to go on and gets tackled straight away by the Manchester City forwards and they run and get straight into space but Walker comes and collects the ball now he passes it out wide towards Emmau. Emmau takes it down this wing. He's doing a brilliant run. Little knock on, a little bit too far there. Gets tackled by the Manchester City defender. And now they go on the attack, playing it back. All the way up the pitch. And now they're going out wide. Will they be able to do anything with this? This is the looking dangerous. That was a really crap tackle there from uh, oh, I think that was Jones who come out to take the ball he didn't actually get the ball and lost it as well but the ball went out when that Richards decent. got stuck in well, and it got throw. put out for a throw in Manchester City throw the ball in flicked on by Richards to Jones Enjoy. Jones knocks it to Emmau Emmau plays it forwards to Lee who Walker. passes forwards to Walker again and now Walker is going on one he of his runs he's gone through the defender but he gets a lucky take, leg uh, stuck out in front of him and the Manchester City player stops the attack and he's able to break it down the ball's gone out for a throw in Emmau to take this throw in passes it to Lee Lee with a long ball forward looking to try and get Alessandra onto the end of it in the penalty area but the keeper comes out and collects it no problems for him 
He throws it out to his defender and they start an attack from the back. Alessandra gets stuck Lee. in there and gets the ball back on the edge of the area. Knocks it forwards towards Lee who loses out to the defenders. And now they're playing it forwards. Manchester City now once back. again in control. At the minute though, it's been Hartlepool who've had more of the ball in my opinion. Looking now they're playing the it out wide. Here. Manchester City Manchester going City. on the attack. That's Richards. a lovely little pass. 1-2 into the corner. But the referee blows up for some something there I think there's a given. free kick he's not happy with and uh, he's given a free kick to Manchester City Jovetic to take the free kick it looks like Halstead getting back into position organising his wall we know that this is a range where Manchester City can be dangerous from it the anticipation is killing everybody in the stands it's such a nice day here as well at Hartlepool the ball's crossed over into the penalty area, headed out and then given to Jones. Jones knocks it forward and it's just passed out of the penalty area. They really need to start clearing that ball a lot better than what they do. They normally just seem to it's pass it out and they need here. to really just turn around and hoof that motherfucker straight right back up the pitch. No messing. Anyway, the ball's played forward and Alessandra collects it. He tries to cut inside and he does. A lovely little through ball there towards, uh, towards yeah, Richards. Throw. But unfortunately, the uh, Manchester City defender stuck his leg out and yes, broke Walker. down the attack. Walker passes the ball to Emmau. Emmau tries to get the crossover, gets tackled by the defender. And now it's Manchester City on the attack once more. We've had 26 minutes played here and it's still nil-nil. They're pushing forwards. Can they get the crossover? He's taken it down to the corner and he does get the crossover. That's a brilliant cross and the volley just goes wide. And that was so unfortunate for Manchester City. A little bit more time and a little bit more composure. And he would have probably smashed that past the keeper. But he was getting pressurised by the defenders there who really did play well. And the amount of pressure that they put onto the striker made him completely fluff his shot. Anyway, the ball's played back into the game by the goalkeeper. And now Manchester City are in control of it. They okay. lose out, though, to the defenders. And now it's Walkout tries to play Lee through. Doesn't manage to do so. It gets taken back off them by Manchester City. And now they're going on the attack. They're on the edge of the penalty area. And a tackle there puts the ball out for Manchester a corner, City, I think. It does look like a corner. Everyone's getting into position for a corner. So, yep, the referee has given a corner. It's Milner to take the corner. Crosses it in towards the and middle of the area. Goal. Headed at goal and it just goes wide. Absolute well, beauty of a header. Perfect amount of power. Perfect amount of pace. That. Nice placement, just the wrong side of the goalpost. Unfortunate for Manchester City. They've had more attempts on goal than what Hartlepool have today. But then again, Hartlepool are the underdogs in this match. But uh, a win here would do, do wonders for their morale, I'm telling you now. If they could beat Manchester City, that would be fantastic. Just the same as if they had beat Chelsea on the opening game of the season. The good thing about this, though, is by playing the big teams like this at the start of the season, we can then get a run of probably lesser lesser teams, like, in skill-wise, and hopefully we'll be able to move up the table in that way. That was a great shot by Kim there. Would have been on target, but unfortunately his own man got in the way and stopped the shot. The ball passed to Emma, a long range shot from him, that was on target as well. Beautiful save by the keeper, Emma showing his frustration and he thought that he could have even put it over into the box for somebody else to get onto the end of. It would have been classed as a shot on goal but it could have also been classed as a cross. Anyway, the ball played forward by Lee to uh, Alessandra. Alessandra now tries to get onto the ball but he's judged as offside. Referee blows up and it's a free kick to Manchester City. There we go, look, slightly straight offside. Well played by the Manchester City back line to do that, to, uh, to realise where he was going to go and to get him played offside. 45 minutes played, we've got four minutes of injury time left to go on this half at the moment. It's still currently Hartlepool nil, Manchester City nil. Will anybody be able to get a goal right on half-time and 
make you the manager change his half-time team talk. That was a nice He's little through ball there. The Unfortunately, clearance. wasn't good enough well, for Lee through. to get on to the end and of. And the referee blows up for the end of this first no, half. It is still nil-nil. Both teams really struggling teams. to score a goal. Go I think Manchester right City have been more dominant in this game so far. They've had more attempts at goal, but still, no goal scored here at the moment. Even if Hartlepool managed to get a draw out of this, I would class that as a brilliant result against Manchester scoreless. City and against the, uh, the, the Barclays Premier League half, champions. And then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the game. So there's the scores from around the grounds. If you want to see them, rewind it and pause it. Otherwise, we're off to go for this second half of Manchester football. Hartlepool now playing from right to left. Will we be able to break this nil-nil deadlock? Both managers have had a decent chat with their teams at half-time. Both teams here. have come out in a more positive attitude than what they went in on. And, uh, well, I think both teams That's are really going to go for the, the win. They really do to need play. to pick up points here. Both teams do to start Marvelous their uh, the campaigns tackle. off Can to the right way. The That's here. a lovely ball towards Lee, Lee though, that Alessandra's just played. And he gets hacked down the by the defender. The referee, on, the referee does nothing. No. And he's still he's laying on the floor. The That's his own fault the for the tackle that he and just did. And there we go, Jovetic is on the, the floor, he's had to and go off now for treatment. And now will Manchester City play the ball back? That's very unsportsmanlike, really. Aguero's had to come on for Jovetic, but the thing is, what is more annoying yeah, is that Manchester City that did not play the gantry, ball three. back after the ball has been given to them from a free kick. Next game is uh, for QPR and Hartlepool at Loftus that Road. That will be the next game of this season. I hope that you will join us for that. Lewis Hawkins now coming on today to make to way. Well, favor. Brad Walker making way for him to uh, come on and play his second half against Manchester City. I think Manchester City are also doing a substitution here at the moment as well. Be able to see in a second who come off for Manchester City. The ball's thrown back in. There we go. It's Nasri for Nasri coming on for Carrasco, who's gone off. Anyway, there was a tackle. Oh my God! There's a goal for Man City. I was too busy looking at who had gone on and who got off, and Manchester City have scored a very important goal here. And they've gone 1-0 in the lead. We'll have another and look at that. A lovely little on. through ball. And the goalkeeper the comes out to make himself known. The Hartley pull defence all over Should the place. Something. And he just smashes it straight past the keeper. No messing at all. Straight down the centre of the goal. And that's an absolute beauty. It's 1-0 to Manchester City. Lawler there at, um, showing off as well. It's... Gudetti who scored the goal for Manchester City and that is a very important goal for them. It, it's a very important goal against Hartlepool as well because now Hartlepool have got to come from this deficit and try and get two to get the win. Will they be able to do it? Alessandra's going on a run from the kickoff. He gets tackled on the edge of the penalty area though and it's cleared away by the defender. Now with the midfielders right. running up the field, they're going for it now, trying to score another one. That's given them that added boost, that first goal, as they're trying to get another well, goal and finish this game area. off. They're well. Now they're on the outside the wing here. The Will they be able ready. to do anything with it? No, Hawkins comes and takes a ball off him, Lee. knocks a ball forward towards Lee. Lee goes for a run, tries to play a through ball to Alessandro. It's He's cleared away. away by the defender, though. They need to do a different change to that to that attack I think um, a lot of people now are realising what they're doing John and the through ball just isn't working it's either that or Alessandra's goal doubt is having a major Lee. major effect on the that way that Hartlepool are playing at the minute we need it's other people who can put the goal in the, in the net that was a beautiful strike there by Lee who went it alone he did have Alessandra on his outside who he could have passed along to but he decided not to and had a go at goal but he shoots it a mile wide that was so unfortunate needs to get his shooting boots back on no, to be trying, able to score to a goal if he can against Manchester City Maybe here's the final substitution the for today for Manchester City Lee's also going off and it's Silver coming on for uh, Man City for Milner who's gone off and Lee who's going off for us and we're bringing on Ross for the last couple of minutes of this uh, half 
Well, it's 70 minutes played. 20 minutes left to go. Will they be able to get back into it? Hartlepool Again, really playing their Everton. heart out here. They've tried the everything there. so the far. They just can't seem to get past Marvelous the defenders tackle. at the back. They keep on stripping the midfield of it, it's though. They keep getting the ball the back, tackle. and that's one right thing you can't in, complain that Hartlepool have done. They haven't Unmarked given up. They have constantly tried and tried and tried the whole 90 minutes, well, the whole 75 minutes so far. As long as they keep up with this left. attempt for the 90 the minutes, I think that the manager will be happy. Because, I mean, you, you're going to be playing out. teams Clearly like this where player. you just can't score goals. It's just one of them things. These games will happen, and it looks like that's what's going to happen today. Let's just hope that we can do a bit of damage control, though, and stop Manchester City from going on a it's goal spree. Let's uh, get a run here, here, though, with M. Mao. He's going round the players. He gets tackled, though, the by the final uh, defender and doesn't manage to do oh, anything with it. Now Manchester now. City going on a run, a sliding tackle there like was uh, a bit dodgy, to be honest with you. I'm expecting him to get a card for that. Liam Hearn is going to make his... Uh, shame because come in, well, he's not making a debut, make, sorry. Uh, Liam Hearn is coming on for Jack Compton now, who's going off. He's not been having the best of season so far. Even in the pre-season friendly, he wasn't playing too well. Hardly touching the ball. He needs to start getting a little bit better if he's going to be staying in first-team football. I think this is the statement that the manager is saying by putting on Hearn, who is a goal scorer and who is a striker compared to uh, Compton, who's a winger. So uh, I think the manager is actually really going for it now by putting on three strikers to see if he can make a difference to this game. Now it's Alessandra, plays the ball through towards Hearn. Will Hearn make it to it? Michael he doesn't Richards. manage to do so. And the ball's cleared away Silly. by the defenders. No problems for Manchester City. They That's seem to keep up and pick up the ball Alan every McKinale. time it's a dead it's ball, ball situation. Takes it past this player there. And as you can see there, that's a brilliant result for uh, Tottenham Hotspur there. 3-1 the against the Newcastle. That should the take them up chances. to the top of the league, if I remember rightly. That's an absolute beauty of a game there. But here we go. We're still going with this one at Hartlepool. We've got two minutes of time left. And then whatever else is added on as extra time. Luckily enough, they managed to get the ball away from the Manchester the City striker there. 90 minutes has been played. There's four minutes left. Will Hartlepool be able to salvage something from this game? They're going to try. They've got the ball. It's a throw-in. Plays a long ball towards the box. Ross on the edge of the box tries to turn the defender, but the defender's just too good for him and knows what he's doing. Takes the ball off him. And now they're just passing it around between themselves. No messing. Lovely interception there, though, by uh, by Woods, I think it was. He plays the ball forwards now Ross. towards Ross. Ross on the edge of the area, tries to have a shot. Gets stopped by the defender. And there we go. Manchester City win this game 1-0. Absolute brilliant game for them. The Hartlepool fans are not too Credit bothered to though the they believe that Great their game. team has played an absolute just, blinder again, as well they thought that they were going to get routed by five or six goals but they managed to keep it two only a so one goal game and losing by nil. one goal to I'll Manchester City at home is not a bad result to be honest with you anyway let's see what we can do against QPR in the next game of this season Here's the highlights of the game. I don't think there'll be that many, to be honest with you. It was mainly Manchester City who were in control for most of the game. There was the header that went wide in the first half. There was the other header where he tried it and went wide the other post. Unfortunately for him, he just didn't have his head on to, uh, to put the ball into the net today. There was a couple of tackles there. Dodgy tackle there that was given away. It, it, they didn't even give the free kick for that. And normally that would have been a yellow card or a and red. The and goal. there's the goal who, where he scored it. Absolute beauty straight down the middle. Can't complain at the way that he smashed that home. Here was a tackle from uh, Kim as well. And Kim got up. He had a shot at goal, but it got blocked by his own player. You can see the shirt pulling there as well on M. Mao. His frustration showing on M. Mao's face. Richards unable to score as well, but the game finished Hartley Paul nil. Manchester City won. 
Not the best of games for Man City, but a really good game for Hartlepool. ML scores a 5.8 rating there. He could have got a little bit better. I think he was a bit frustrated, though, by the amount of shirt pulling that was going on on him. Anyway, it's Dan Jones who gets a 6.9 rating and gets man of the match. The Here's the scores from round the grounds. Arsenal Read them out, big man. Crystal Palace, nil. Everton, one. Southampton, two. Hartlepool United, nil. Manchester City, one. Hull City, one. Cardiff City, nil. Liverpool, nil. Sunderland, nil. Manchester United, three. Queen's Park Rangers, one. Newcastle United, one. Tottenham Hotspur, three. Norwich City, one. Chelsea, two. Okay, let's have a look West at how Bronx that Albion, affects one. the table City, now. Two. West Ham United, nil. Okay, they're reading Aston scores Villa, that we one. can't see. <laughs> now let's see what effect that's had. Here we go, let's have a look at the table. Okay, at that loss drops table, us down two places. We're now 14th, played three, won one, draw second, none, lost Chelsea two. With, nine points. with the goals four third, of one, Arsenal a goal against the three, points. and a goal fourth, difference of minus two. We're on three points. I'm not too concerned about that, considering we've played Chelsea and Manchester City. That is a good standing at the moment. Our main objective is to stay in this Cardiff league City for this year points. anyway Bottom anyway table, thank you very Norwich much for City watching no i hope you've enjoyed this episode i hope you'll come table, back and join us and support us against Ham qpr United in the next no game points. till then take Third care bottom, thanks Queen's for Park watching Rangers and bye for now point. fourth bottom west bromwich albion with one point fifth bottom everton with one point anyway a big thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video of fifa 15 Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.